let's talk risk. Everybody wants to talk risk, especially after a day where the market rebounded. Dow gaining 229 points. S&P jumping, wow, 1.61%. NASDAQ pole vaulting 2.55%. Nice change from last week. But if you control your risk, the reward does take care of itself. Last week, Wall Street got desperate for risky gains. And to do that, you need juice, meaning margin. There were too many people borrowing money to trade. And playing with borrowed money can wreck your portfolio the same way racking up lots of credit card debt can wreck your life, whether you're a big hedge fund manager or whether you're a regular investor. Now, I could talk a blue streak about Robinhood. Congrats, by the way, on that capital raise or Reddit. Congrats on the excitement or a GameStop. Congrats on the big win. Just remember that the gains don't count for anyone until you take some profits. But right now, I'm hearing lots of people who should know better fret about how these red hot uh, theme stocks, I think uh, GameStop, AMC, BlackBerry, Virgin Galactic, wow, represent some kind of new risk to the market. The action in the stocks is, has to some degree come unglued from the fundamentals, but that happens a lot. It's really messing with Wall Street's plumbing, causing problems for the brokers and the clearinghouses, not necessarily for you if you don't have margin. Whenever you deal with risk, though, you have to ask what kind of risk? Is it systemic risk? Well, that's why we're worried that the center will not hold and the entire market could collapse. Or is it literally any other kind of risk that we can cope with if we stay calm? And, you know, that's how I feel. When it comes to GameStop, I don't see any scary systemic risk at all. I see garden variety regulatory risk. This short-selling frenzy never represented more than $100 billion worth of stocks. There are real questions that need to be answered. How did the regulators let money managers short 148% of the stocks float mathematically? That's not possible. How could management remain silent? Why didn't Robinhood have a better handle on helping its clients? Come on, guys. And that's really about it, though. If you were off margin, you're doing just fine right now. Don't miss a second of Mad Money. Follow at Jim Kramer on Twitter. Have a question? Tweet Kramer. Hashtag Mad Tweets. Send Jim an email to madmoney at CNBC.com or give us a call at 1-800-743-CNBC. Miss something? Head to madmoney.cnbc.com. Shepard Smith here. Thanks for watching CNBC on YouTube.